Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reading The Giant of Jum by Ellie Woolard and Benji Davis. The Giant of Jum was a grumpy old grouch who was constantly grizzling and grumbling. And when he was hungry, he'd slobber and slash and say, Oh, how my tummy is rumbling. Fee, he said, and fi, he said, and fo, he said, and fum. How I pine, how I wish for a child and a dish. Little children are yum, yum, yum. And he thought of a tale that his brother had told of a beanstalk and a boy known as Jack. He'd be nice, thought the giant, if eaten quite cold with a side dish of beans for a snack. He strode through the lands with such thunderous stumps that the trees started shaking and swaying. Through fields and forests, through rivers and swamps, and, the, and to the gardens where children were playing. Fum, he said, and fo, he said, and fi, he said, and fee. Children, I feel, make a fabulous meal. I will gobble you up for my tea. But the children said, what a magnificent man. You're so marvellously magic and tall. And they said, will you help us? We're sure that you can. Or oh, please will you fetch us our ball? A giant says, well, I suppose it won't hurt, but soon, have no fear, I'll be back. You'd be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert, just as soon as I've gobbled that jack. Fo, he said, and fun, he said, and fee, he said, and fi. Children taste nice mixed with pasta or rice and they're perfect when popped in a pie. But the children ran up and they yelled. Look at that, up there in the leaves, can you see? Oh please will you help us and rescue our cat? It's got stuck up that sycamore tree. The giant says, well, I suppose it won't hurt, but soon, have no fear, I'll be back. You'd be scrumptious if eaten with cream for dessert, just as soon as I've gobbled that jack. Fie, he said, and fee, he said, and fum, he said, and fo. My very best treat is some children to eat. I will start at the littlest toe. But the smallest boy whispered, my legs are so sore, and he slumped to the ground and he cried, I can't make it home, I can't walk anymore, oh please would you give me a ride? The giant said, well, I suppose I don't mind, and he lifted the boy on his back. The boy said, I love you, you're wonderfully kind, and what is your name? I'm called Jack. Fee, he said, and fi, he said, and little Jack snap. Is that right? I'll pulp you and stew you, I'll gulp you and chew you, and gobble you up in one bite. But the children said, oh no you wouldn't, we think that you've made a mistake. You're such a gi kind giant, you couldn't. Nice giants always eat cake. Cake, 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 cake. Ruff. The giant was starving. His tummy was rumbling. But then he said, Wait, are you sure? I'm grizzly and grumpy and grouchy and grumbly. I've not been called lovely before. You rescued a cat from a tree, shouted Jack. And you fetched us our ball. You're so nice. 
You gave me a ride for the streets on your back, so we've made this for you. Have a slice. Ho, he said, and hum, he said, and ha, he said, and he. Chocolate's much better than children, and he ate it all up for his tea. Stay home, be safe, and keep listening.